the time we fish out, to where I think we should be able to. Depends what else happens. Come back up in here. I know it's up here. See where we get to and. Blah blah blah. Oh, jeez! You got him? Yep, he's on. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo! Hey, I think I got a bite. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, yep, I'm gonna come over here on the right. I don't like switching position on rods. <laughs> Look at that That's thing. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, look at the size Welcome of that thing, bro. To Australia. Wow. Did I tell you they'd smoke it? Dude, he smoked it, yo. Look how fat this creature is. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that was so dope. That was sick. That was so freaking dope. Come on, Josh. <laughs> We're all a little nervous right now. We've been fishing for almost two full days. 0 for 3. We're now 1 for 4. And I got my first fish in Australia. Smoked a, a prototype topwater bait. Amazing fish. She's heavy. She's not very long. Incredible experience. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like look how easily he could fit a 10 to 12 inch bait. Like no problem, like this is my fist. <laughs> and this is not a big fish. Hey man, come on. <laughs> my bad, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, let's get this thing back in the water, huh? Like their whole mood changed, like they don't give a fuck. Oh my goodness. Three days. Oh. He just came back. Dude. Do I figure eight him? He's following me. Okay, I just got two more freaking bites and. 30 seconds. Damn it, Kookaburra, do your job. <laughs> oh, man. So even though he swirled on it twice, he'll eat it go. again. Second time just showed the first time, even if he fell hooks, he doesn't care. I would almost do one. Dude. Yo, more stuck. it is getting nutty out here. Just caught the first one. All hyped up, we're celebrating. What is this? Victoria Bitter? That's it, VB. Celebrating with some VB and maybe two more casts in. I get drilled again and hook it momentarily. Looked like a bigger fish. Of course it was bigger, right? I lost it. 
and it actually came up and rushed it again for a third time. So that's four bites in like a 15 minute window. Here we go. Hang on, it is to the right a little bit. Josh, what are you looking at right now, bro? Looking at a big cod there, man. Check this. Here he is on the shrubs. There is on the structure. You can see his tail and all. In his head. That's nuts. Not a bad shot. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, we were at the end of day two. We got one in the boat. We had five bites today, just like that. Flip a flip of a switch, and we had a window of opportunity. Do you want more light? Sorry. Yeah, sure. I don't, I don't what do you got? See <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, end of day two, we have fished our monkey asses off. Or I guess, what do you guys have here? You guys don't have monkeys. You guys got... We still call it a monkey's ass, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, still applicable down under, apparently. <laughs> uh, fished our monkey's ass off uh, for the last 48 hours or so. Nothing to show for it. Josh hooked and lost one the very first night. And we didn't even get a bite yesterday, right? No I don't bites. Think we, no bites yesterday. Had a short bite this morning. So, six bites today. Yeah. We had a short bite this morning on the big soft bait. And then just like that in the flip of a switch, conditions changed, a window opened. Boom! I get, actually, jo boom, Josh gets destroyed on the Bassman spinner bait. Doesn't stick. And I finally get an opportunity and my first topwater bite and we actually connect. Got her in the boat. And then after photographing, releasing that fish, what, two casts maybe? Yeah. Boom, another one. Ate it, hooked it uh, momentarily, comes off, follow-up cast, rolls on it again, just didn't commit. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I don't know if you've seen three happier dudes after that fish made it into the net. We've been working really hard, and it wasn't even a meter fish, and that's okay. Uh, Learning to enjoy the process and the struggle and embracing all of that is what makes all of these adventures special. So stay tuned. We're going to try and break 77 centimeters because that's where the bar has been set. Uh, running out of time. We only got, what, 11 days left? <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Leave a comment. You guys like Murray Cod? Because I do. Welcome back. Good evening. Not Oliver and I. We are at the end of day number two. two. So far of our trip, we're in, into a 12 day trip with uh, Oliver and showing him around our country and our waterways and our fishery. And uh, we decided to take him to out the hardest place that we know and that we fish, but also one of the greatest places first up. And it didn't disappoint. It, it always comes through. We persist with it enough, but it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. And Every like time. we, the first full day, we had zero responses. Like not a single touch. Not a touch. Like no follows. No nothing. No sign of life. And for us, it's okay because we're like, well, we know what's here. And but all of us flown from the other side of the world to come and fish for our Murray cod, and he's heard what we've said. <laughs> But he doesn't know if we're full of it or not yet. Which we are. <laughs> sort of. But to see him, like, not only just fish, but, like, fish, like, hard. And not, like, everybody fishes hard. But, like, to fish, like, ridiculously hard, focused, like, all day, nonstop, mm. top water. Like, it was, it was cool. It, yeah. And, like... To stay with it today. He was snoozing. He was. We come back for <laughs> for a bit of lunch. We're out cooking up. Where's Oliver? He's in there having a snooze. <laughs> <laughs> He's a morning guy, <laughs> and we've been up at five a.m. from the start. So we're day number two, and so it's two five a.m. finishes start. Sorry, in a in a row, 
and all of the hates mornings. He said he hates mornings, but we thought we broke him, but he come through. Yeah, and the morning <laughs> bite, the morning bite is so strong as that you just have to be there. So, yeah. um, but he stuck with it. There hasn't been a single complaint yet, yet, but we're still early on. Um, and then this afternoon, some some weather rolled in, the window opened. Josh got slammed by a really good fish, most likely on a spinnerbait. And then, what about like ten, five minutes later? The next, the next sp- spot on. So the next, move on from that snag. Next bit, bang. Yes, on. got him. Yeah, got yes, yes. Top water, Woo-hoo-hoo! which is the fish you've probably all seen Woo-hoo! by now. I think I got a bite. We pretty much in party mode at that point, just to have one in the boat for him, which is just awesome. And then we photograph that fish, release it, still pumps, still so like some cloud nine. Literally, I, I can't even, I, I hadn't had a cast. I think it was maybe, Oliver had maybe one to two, maybe three casts max, and just get smoked again. Like, oh! Yeah, that fish was better one. Probably a little bit bigger no, fish. I missed Probably it. Not, not a monster, okay. okay. but. Probably eight or nine hundred, I reckon. I've got a good look at it. Mm. I reckon it's about that. But good fish still, like really good fish. And as you can see from that fish that Oliver caught, like they are Quality. in amazing condition, like almost too good a condition. Like these things are obese, which is like for you guys, like in bass terms, like that is like what, like I'm assuming like peak pre spawn maximum weight. Like that fish Oliver caught was probably every bit as big as his 17 pound fish. It's the fattest. Fish in the 700s I've ever seen. Yeah. So that fish was 77 centimetres, which is how we measure all our fish. We don't really care about weight or we don't use weight because we don't weigh our fish, but you can just see it. And like a, a fish in the river or a lot of other places in the country would have probably had a third less weight. Yeah. Like no that thing like was just... That had the girth of like a, a high 800s. Mm. You know, like... That was ridiculous. I still had the small tail and the, the small head, but... Just the, the shoulders and the guts on it. He's would have seen it in the photo anyway. All the cod fishers will know what's going on. A huge weight off our shoulders. You know, we certainly have never taken someone from the other side of the world uh, fishing before, and certainly <laughs> uh, someone who has a little bit of notoriety. To have a first a, a, a full day of yeah. like fishless was like humbling, which is. When it's just us and there's no cameras or anything, it's fine. Who cares? We don't care. Um, but when there's cameras rolling and uh, everybody watching, yeah. or what feels like everybody watching, <laughs> is uh, we start to get pretty heavy in the shoulders. But you think, you're definitely thinking about it. Yeah. That's for sure. So it was cool to have him get a fish. But, uh, yeah, we it was got... so close to being a golden day. Like, those hooks stuck on those other fish, it's probably up there with some of the best days you could have here you know yeah, like, well for us anyway for us personally yeah you could easily have you know though we could have had another what another fish in the 80s to 90s and then potentially whatever that thing on yeah that hit me plus he got slammed on the um, the defiant 232 yeah the big big one the big bait in the morning in the and then the first fish yeah on, the, on day one so if everything had worked a little bit in our favor yeah we'd be but that's fishing. That's, <laughs> that's fishing. It. Like so far, the odds have been against us. Like typically, our what hit to land ratio has, it's not really good. has been. It's typically though a lot better than that. Like it's above, way above fifty percent. Like from hit yeah. to what hits the net. Um, so we're winning. We're in one at one of one out of one landed out of what like six Sevens. or seven or yeah. something, which is very ordinary. But um, we've set the bar low. We've, we've given him a fishless day to humble him a little bit, he loves being humbled by him. and uh, plenty of uh, days left in the trip to upgrade and we'll see what happens, I'm sure you'll be watching. Thanks guys. Yeah.